Now, it's a challenge. Somebody sins against you. What do you do? Comes against you. The natural reaction is to respond the same way back. You know, they talked about you. You talk about them. They put down you. You put down them. You, you, that is fighting fire with fire, and you end up becoming like them. You're, 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 you're not overcoming good or evil with good. You're overcoming. You're trying to overcome it with evil. You can't do that. doesn't work. You become like them. You're no better. If you do to your enemy what your enemy does to you, you're no better. That's the serpent part with no dove. Don't let evil touch your heart. Don't let the way of the world get into you. No matter what the world does, don't become like them. Don't get corrupted. Stay pure. You're in the world. You're not of it. Be aware of what's going on, but, but don't be tainted by it. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 11, 2, 11, he said, we are not unaware of the enemy's schemes. We're aware of it. Paul's, I'm aware of it. But he's not obsessed with it. He's not dwelling on it. He's not going crazy because of it. He's aware of it. Don't let, he didn't let it taint his heart. You see, if you get bent out of shape about every evil that the enemy throws at you, you're going to be, you're getting affected by evil. You say, well, I'm just worried. I'm just, you're getting affected by evil. In Romans 16, 9, Paul, Paul says this. He says, be wise in good things, but be innocent with regard to evil. Interesting. Use the same word that Messiah uses here. Same word, unmixed, pure. Paul also says, be mature in your thinking. Don't be, don't be child, childish in your thinking. Be childlike in your heart, but be mature in your thinking. That's just like Messiah. Messiah was totally wise, but at the same time, he was totally good and innocent. No, no other motives. 